still found rare leaves. The man with the yellow hat sketched, but George didn't see anything he couldn't see at home. I've got you. Oops. Problem? No problem? Well, how do we get back up? Well, proper procedure is to call help. Wait, tie it to something first. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Do you know the way back to the ranger station? Uh, uh, uh. Well, no problem. I've got a map. But we've got to get it to George. I know how to make a perfect straight flying paper airplane. Here it comes. These were all the places they'd passed. So if he went past those places in backwards order, they'd lead him to the ranger station. was the same craggy tree. <laughs> Picture four, Turtle Peak. <laughs> At the next trail crossing, George had a problem. How could he find the beaver lodge if he couldn't see it? underwater. <laughs> now what would he do? This is bad, but I can think of 56 different ways it could be worse. My hat! My, my hat! Uh, 57! Want me to list them all? One. It could be raining. Oh. At the next trail crossing, George had to pick a direction. But all the trails looked alike. <laughs> George had never been this excited to see his own garbage before. <laughs> well, hi there. Can I help you? <laughs> oh, I, I got you. I, I'll go get my rescue gear. <sighs> Good work, George. My hat. You know, George brought me right to you. He is quite a tracker. Oh. <gasps> Hiking was exciting. George couldn't understand why more people didn't do it. <laughs> None of this stuff made for exhilarating monkey tub action. 
This disappointing bath was over. Some of the stuff was moving on its own. These were good tub toys. It went down with the water, so logically, if he added more water, it should all float back up. Just a second, George. Water's backing up into the sink, and I don't know why. Oh, no. I, I'd better call the plumber. George liked it when Mr. Auger, the plumber, came over. He had the best toolbox George had ever seen. <laughs> Where's your water main shuttle valve? Uh, downstairs. Take him, Hunley. Woo! <laughs> This main valve controls the water for the whole place. Now everyone's water is off until I turn it back on. It's like uh, having a superpower. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> Remember how to use the dishwasher? First, scrape the food <laughs> off the <laughs> George, being a good little monkey, did just as he promised. <laughs> Water was backing up out of the dishwasher this time. Why? Mr. Auger must have missed a clog. It was a good thing George had watched him closely. Righty tighty shuts off the water. He did everything Mr. Auger had done, but didn't find a clog. This was too big a job for one monkey. He'd better go get the man with the yellow hat from the store. Being a good plumber, George reopened the water main so everyone would have water. Being a monkey, he forgot he'd opened the taps in the apartment. Hundley was relieved. With George gone, nothing sloppy could happen. <laughs> Pipes should always be properly tightened. George, when you came to the store and wanted me to come home, did it have anything to do with the water pouring off of our balcony? No! Did you call the plumber yet? Is something wrong? I was on the roof feeding the pigeons. Holy hinges! Humbly! <laughs> Oh, boy. Found your clog. You can't dump food in the dishwasher. <laughs> and from now on, leave plumbing to the experts. That would be me. His plumbing day's over. George enjoyed a nice hot bath with his new tub toy. <laughs> Guaranteed never to slip down the drain.
George, come on up and I'll show you how the projector works. <laughs> a movie is made up of many small pictures. Ooh. These gears pull the pictures past the lens. When we turn on the lamp, it shines light through the film. Ta-da! There's the movie. <laughs> Welcome to the Bijou, Mr. Glass. Uh, Isle of Dinosaurs. Seen it a hundred times. No, oh, no. Oh. Enjoy the show. Watch the booth for me, please. You got it. Oh, no. George, I, I forgot to start the popcorn machine. <laughs> Thanks. It's all set to go. Uh, uh, can you change your tune? Less jazz, more mystery. <laughs> this didn't seem like enough kernels to make popcorn for everyone. Just a minor problem, sir. We'll have it fixed in no time. <laughs> George, tell the band to slow down once I fix the projector speed. Popcorn would never stop. It was time to get help stopping this mess. Popcorn and a monkey stop him. Uh, Mr. Glass, I'll, I'll, I'll be in the lobby if you'd like to talk. Well, what did he think? Now that was unique. I've never sat through anything like it. You folks truly knocked my socks off. <laughs> yes, you've convinced me that this old bijou has got to stay. Fantastic. Ah uh, just one thing. Next time, when the volcano erupts, mm. how about a little less salt on the popcorn? <laughs> George's mouth felt glued shut. George, are you okay? 
I think it's the cake. My cake? George. <laughs> Weird. Professor Wiseman is a genius, but she can't bake a cake. Uh, that doesn't bode well for the bake sale. <laughs> what could have gone wrong with the cake? George didn't know enough about cooking to even guess. <laughs> but Chef Piscetti knew about cooking. <laughs> Hello, Giorgio. <laughs> the first thing George noticed was all the chef's cooking tools. Some spoons were very deep. The chef seemed to put in whatever he wanted. <laughs> in any amount he wanted. George knew Professor Wiseman had scientific tools, but did she own the right cooking tools? Oh, hi, George. George wasn't finding many tools. Oh, that was there when I moved in. I never use it. If one is truly creative, there's no need for a cookbook. <laughs> We're making carrot muffin, so we'll need carrots. What do you think? One carrot per muffin? Everything we need to make a nice pan of muffins. <laughs> hmm. Did we put a bit of salt in the sugar or a bit of sugar in the salt? I can't tell. <laughs> okay, George, turn on the oven. I so enjoy being creative. I think our muffins will be a huge success. <laughs> Maybe the muffins would taste better than they looked. Oh, dear. Perhaps Chef Piscetti would know what went wrong with the muffins. I will make you a favorite dish of my grandmother. Timballo del Gattabardo, Sicilian pie. Let me just check the recipe and I will begin. Recipe? What? Okay. a million. Oh, huh. So that's what that thing was for. I think this is my best timbalo ever. Thanks to my new assistants. Hmm, Torta di Caroti. Oh, that sounds good. Whatever it is. Mwah! Carrot cake. George and the professor had the same thought at the same time. Bake ah. sale. <laughs> the kitchen is yours. Uh, maybe we should just go pick up donuts? Yeah, donuts. Yeah, that sounds good. That sure looks good. Professor Wiseman made it. Oh, uh-huh. Hmm. Wow, look at that cake. <laughs> we made two. One for the bake sale and one for Rescue Squad 86. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. 
I want to try some of these formulas. I, I mean recipes. <laughs> they seem so easy now, like gene splitting. Now that George knew all about cooking, he didn't need to ask the chef about the failed muffins. to get the coat off George. <laughs> Hunley didn't want people to think his lobby's doorman was a monkey. <laughs> Order had to be restored. The lobby couldn't look like this. <laughs> Being a dog, Hunley had tasted a lot of tennis balls. But these were the first that ever tasted like... ink? These were the valuable balls the doorman promised to protect. Hunley couldn't stop George from opening boxes that he thought belonged to him. But he knew how to play defense. There's a monkey and a wiener dog at the door. <gasps> Those careless delivery guys. If any of my balls aren't properly packed, I'm going to be very upset. Now George understood. These boxes belonged here, and the delivery man gave them to George by mistake. I'll be down to check every last one as soon as I'm off the phone. They had to clean up before the ball collector came downstairs. All they had to do was put the balls back into the right boxes. How hard could that be? Sometimes things don't fit when they look like they should. Or they fit in more than one place. Hunley showed George how to lay them flat. <laughs> they did it. All the balls were back where they started. Kind of. Like they're all here. Oh, even the priceless Andy Turkey Rolly perfect score bowling ball. <sighs> I'm back. Huh? Is everything okay? My delivery came. Your dog and monkey took care of everything. That's great. 
Thank you, Hundley. Thank you, George. It's nice to know Hundley has help keeping the place clean and organized. George, would you like to help Hundley again tomorrow morning? You can be my official dorm monkey. I won't be here, and tomorrow is water delivery day. <laughs> Which meant time for the ducks to fly home. Right past the big rock that looked like a duck. George realized they should be heading back that way, too. There was the Rincon Silo. The river brought them back home. They weren't lost. All they had to do was stop. <coughs> they were now even more lost than the lost chicks. George couldn't even find the river. Nothing looked familiar. But there was the duck rock again. A landmark. They saw the big duck rock. Hmm. And what else did they pass on the river? The big trees. The boat. And Rinkin Silo. The sun set behind the Rinkin Silo. Suddenly, they didn't feel so lost. They ran to that rock. But when they got there, it didn't look like the big duck rock. Oh. But as George walked around, <laughs> he discovered it was the big duck rock. The big trees. <laughs> they had found the next landmark. <laughs> and there was the boat. Another landmark. <laughs> if he followed the river all the way, he would find the silo. With the sun right behind it. But George realized that if he took the river all the way around, it would take too long. They could just take a shortcut and follow the sun. <laughs> this couldn't be easier. Okay, it would have been easier if they could see where they were going. They had to walk towards the sun. But how could they find it now? <laughs> it was that way. <laughs> the chicks recognized those friendly monkey feet. find those chicks in the dark. George! <laughs> Didn't I tell you to stay at the duck pen? <gasps> oh, you brought him home! You're a hero, monkey. <laughs> George, how did you do it?
after a day lost in the country, what could be more relaxing than going home to the city? Did you see a raft at the river? <laughs> Bill made it for us. Next weekend, we take a relaxing raft trip. Won't that be fun?